I took it upon myself to buy a fake iPhone. Yeah, I spent 50,000 naira for science to buy this fake iPhone so that you wouldn't. This is an iPhone XS Max and this is supposedly an iPhone XS Max. Now, you may not be able to tell the difference between each one and that's because one of them is fake. This iPhone looks scaredly real, like they both work and I'll be showing you guys 10 tips on how to identify a fake iPhone and some tips on how not to get scammed based on what my expert told me. Without further ado, let's get to the video. First things first, you want to know your platforms. You want to know where you're buying from. I made a video on how to buy a fairly new smartphone and a lot of people I've seen who were successful at this attempt bought from a trusted source or someone they knew and could hold accountable. Basically, if there's a return policy from the company you're buying from, this could seriously help. The next thing to note is in the display of these phones. Before I move on, I'd say that usually in the box of the fake iPhone, it will already be a dead giveaway. The fonts will be off, you know, the writings will be off. But that aside, some scammers even give you an actual box, so you may be out of luck on that point. However, we'll have to inspect the device itself. From the front, in terms of the bezels of the phone, the lower part of the phone, we see pronounced bezels right there. The iPhone XS Max already has an OLED curved screen, so it stretches to a perfect fit at the end with deep blacks, while the fake one is just an LCD screen and it still looks convincing, but it falls apart and you see a gap when you open the camera app. It's just so messy. There's a lot of disparity in the font. You see this when you are at the end you know, at the end of the camera menu, it says time-lapse recording in small text. The real camera app has only large capital text. This fake one is just something else. So if you notice any change in characters, small characters, big characters, that is a major red flag. You will notice a lot of discrepancies in the text, quite a lot. And also when you take a screenshot on the real iPhone, you can annotate it like so. However, when you take a screenshot on the fake iPhone, power button and the volume button, you can't annotate it. Sorry. This is something you should check out when you want to buy. The third thing I'll be talking about is the body in terms of the design. The back of the original iPhone is all glass while the back of the fake iPhone is plastic. If there could be a way to use a key to dab on the back of the phone, or if you've got long nails to check the sound, um, you should do that. Another option is just to ask the seller what material it is. This is the hardest one because based on looks alone, you can't really tell. And another dead giveaway is just how smooth it is. On the fake one, there's a chip on the edge. It just feels cheap. You know, there's a kink there. It feels like the garbage that it really is. At number four, the touch sensitivity of the fake device um, is really bad. It's garbage. <laughs> When you swipe up, it drags for about three seconds on the fake iPhone, but it doesn't on the real device. This is a dead giveaway pretty much already. And there's so much lag on this fake device. You know, the way apps open, it isn't smooth at all. As far as the software on the fake iPhone, it's running on, it's running on Android. I mean, the iPhone is running on Android. It's not even Android 9, my God. It's running a very highly skinned version of Android and it's just plain garbage. Like the control center is one evidence where it looks like a lazy graphic designer's homework or project. It looks really awful and there's a whole Play Store on an iPhone already pre-installed. If you ever come across a device like this with Play Store, please don't enter your personal information because it could even be worse for you. They may use your data for something. Damn, they finished work on this phone. One funny thing is that the lightning connector works on the fake iPhone, you know, and for comparison, when you plug the real one, it just writes charged. But when you plug the fake one, it shows the current battery in a weird font. At number six, the next thing I'll talk about is the phone's authenticity from Apple. Now, this is a very interesting one for me because in the previous video I made on what to know before you buy a fairly used smartphone, I made mention of imei.info, the imei.info tool. Now, this tool is not a joke. As a summary, when you type star hash 06 hash on any phone or almost any modern phone now, even on Android phones, you know, the Android phone. It shows you the IMEI number. I checked the IMEI number of this one and it showed details for an iPhone 5S. Like, they didn't even try to copy an iPhone XS Max. Anyway, always check the IMEI number of any fairly used device you're going to buy or a new device. The sound quality of the fake iPhone was like trash. It was like super trash. The real iPhone was stereo, but this one, you know, it's just, just listen to it. So this is how my voice sounds on both the real and the fake iPhone. Let me know what you guys think about the sound quality in the comment section down below. So this is how my voice sounds on both the real and the fake iPhone. Let me know what you guys think about the sound quality in the comment section down below.
you could obviously tell that their sound differences are worlds apart. Speaking of sound and music, I want to talk about the music I use on my channel and all the songs I use are of course from Musicbed. If you ever want to create videos on YouTube and you don't want to worry about copyright issues, you know, stuff like that, Musicbed has got you covered. It's what I use and it's what global brands like Nike, Facebook and Samsung have used for their projects. For me, they have the best music I've experienced and you can too for creating your YouTube videos, your short films, your projects, documentaries, anything, you name it. Clicking on the link in the description, musicbed.fisayafosudo.com, the first link in the description will get you 30 days or one month free trial to get started with music you can use. And afterwards, it starts at $9.99 for the subscription and up, depending on your platform. That being said, we'll look at the cameras of both these iPhones. The camera doesn't zoom past 2x on the fake iPhone. Video quality and picture quality is downright garbage. You see this when you're testing it. They even had the nerve to put a fake portrait mode on this phone and it's still garbage. Just see for yourself. So, front facing camera video quality of the fake iPhone XS Max and the real iPhone XS Max. Um, basically, if you want to buy this if you want to buy an iPhone and you know if you want to buy maybe a second hand iPhone because usually this is how they get people to buy these fakes if you want to buy one of these just make sure you check the front facing camera like you would know a good quality camera you would, the picture will be this exposed compared to you know the iPhone where there is absolutely no exposure like this like any bad exposure like this the picture will be very bad and it should be this kind of color the phones will be out of place so many things will just be wrong with it so yeah, this is the front-facing camera video quality. Obviously, it will be very terrible and it will be garbage. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So guys, I spoke with an expert in Computer Village on why people get scammed when they want to buy an iPhone. And this is what he had to say. I want to buy an iPhone 8 Plus. <laughs> it's the 4 gig for 80,000. They were like, okay, no problem. Um, they'll quickly bring the phone. They are having two phones with them already. They have the one that is working and they have the only one that is not working. So they will not test the one that is working. The guy is still trying to test the phone. The owner is still looking around. I say, let's be fast. So you know, test, test, test. So the guy will not bring his SIM. Give me your SIM. The buyer will bring his SIM. He started the SIM. We start the phone. Everything will come, everything will come up. He will test and wow, it's okay. It is okay. At the process of him bringing out his own money or making transfer because he will want to give them the phone back so they will remove the SIM. So at that process, they will swap the phone. However, this is what happens when you buy from an unreliable source. He will not know. The same color, the same everything, they will swap the phone. So by the time he made the transfer or if you are giving them the cash, two things will happen immediately. Is that they give you back a fake phone. If you are giving them cash, that is where the problem is. They will not give you your money back and your money has been swapped too. So is that how you swap your money <laughs> and give you your money, another money mixed with carton. Maybe you just use like 4,000 era to wrap the whole body, but inside of your money, like it's filled with carton. Or they give you back a phone, a dummy phone. Maybe is that how the phone is just coming on, but the body is very, very bad. Like no network or locked phone or anything. So or stolen phones. As far as pricing, don't go cheap when you're looking to buy an iPhone. Always ask for a receipt if it was pre-owned or some sort of justification on the price. And as far as the issue of price, here's what the experts had to say. That's what normally happens to the impatient buyers. I always come to computer village thinking they are wise or smart that they want to buy iPhone X for 30K. Those are the experiences they've been having, both on Android and on iPhones. But especially on iPhones, these guys have been hitting them bad every time. Now, though they sell, there's, one, there's this type of swapping they call, you swap and they give you full full phone. They don't do full full phone again. They will swap and give you a bad phone. So by the time they swap it, they will give you the phone. They will like, ah, police, 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 police. Everybody will just, you too, that buy his phone no? <laughs> with that receipt, you start running. Why are you running now? You bought for you paid money, you're running. So they use all those um, tricks, chase them away. Before you get to where you are going to, maybe at least, ah, let me just check the phone I bought, like after a while will I be running? Discover is a fake phone or fake money mixed with cartons. So those are the experiences they've been having. So it's not been easy. At least they say once beaten, twice shy. But I don't think there's any twice shy here. I think they are giving them, I think it's everyday beating self and everyday shy. Okay.
for my verdict i'll still reiterate my point on being cheap always look out for warranty information you know returns all that all the things that go with buying an iphone your phone is probably your companion for the most part and making the wrong decision especially on a flagship model like the 10s max could really cause some strain i spent 50k to buy this iphone so that you wouldn't but hey it's for science and to help you guys if you found this video useful please share it with someone you think would benefit from the information in this video please like this video if you enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when i drop a new video that's all folks thank you for watching this one and i'll see you guys in the next one